Solana was started about four years ago as a way to be a U.S. distributor of Thai coffee beans. There was a gentleman named Brian Acosta who was in Thailand and was like, this is just what he saw and smelled and felt what was happening in Thailand. Um, he was just moved to uh, say, I want to get this thing started in uh, Fresno of all yeah. places. And so, um, so he led the groundwork for then um, uh, me to continue to launch off on. Our partner agency does clean water wells, uh, has uh, started two schools up in the hill tribes in northern Thailand, and a healthcare facility where there's a full-time physician now who's able to uh, care for villagers' uh, medical needs. Our generation cares about knowing where their, the proceeds of their money goes to, mm -hmm. wants to invest into products that make a difference in people's lives, and uh, coffee is a product that most Americans drink uh, very regularly and yeah. oftentimes many times a day and so it's the second most traded commodity in the world besides oil and so the capacity to be able to make a difference in people's lives for the farmers mm -hmm. um, is just uh, just huge. The opportunity just uh, seemed like I needed a, a new vision to step in and uh, to hopefully continue to grow it and make it profitable so that we could send more and more money back to Thailand. And so right. uh, it was just intriguing to me um, to kind of help build a product that um, I know that the, the Fresno community wants to be a part of and um, wants to support. Last January I was out in Thailand and it was, it was just mind-blowing to really see the processing that happens um, for the beans, to meet farmers firsthand and ask them, how has coffee changed your life? And uh, many, many farmers now are out of poverty from the $600 that they make off of the coffee every year. And yeah. so um, it's, it's the small difference um, in, in our morning lives can change the trajectory for generations to come. It put to flesh kind of the coffee because I got to see it from the tree all the way to the steps that it takes to be processed and then how it ends up in a bag on a shipping container overseas for three weeks and how it ends up here at the port and yeah. um, really just a new respect for each hand that touches that coffee and how how I think it shrinks our world down a little bit and makes, makes, um, makes our world much more connected. We had just been on the hunt for a few months of finding somewhere downtown and uh, probably about six months just looking and looking and finding places that are too big or too small and um, so this place uh, was a little bit out of our range but I was able to help find someone who also needed some space and so we could link up and um, yeah, get a presence here. I, I, I officially heard this street has been known as like Auto Row. Um, I think with what Tioga Sequoia is doing around the corner mm -hmm. with the Fulton Mall changes and um, the, the road that's gonna be put in there, I think it was a really great opportunity with, I mean, it, it's just a plus that it has really beautiful outside, but yeah. I mean, any of these little warehouses would have done. And so I feel like, yeah, we're fortunate to be down here, hopefully in an age where downtown's continually to move forward. I think that that would be the vision um, at some point would be to continue to build into our space to allow people to come and ha enjoy and taste a lot of coffee mm -hmm. by the cup. Um, it's uh, a little ways out because we want to continue to build what we're doing in the roasting and distributing. Um, but I think because we just happen to find ourselves in a really beautiful spot of an area of downtown that's growing, yeah. um, I can see it. I can see us opening a, a handful of hours a day just to uh, be a place for people to meet and to um, learn about Lana and yeah. um, help uh, help cast the vision of what we're doing in Thailand.